Ding dong. What, okay. what is the secret? No, for our chicken bag. Oh, I like, I like this. Okay, guys, we're gonna wrap up today because it's got a nice, very clean package and stuff here. But they, you have to get more space in the back. Just open the door. Press the doorbell. What's going on, Reefing Fam? In today's episode, Tia can't open a door. Patrick, help her out. I'm putting on the shades to We're go here. into Cali Kids. Cali Kids. I will be able to see. Hit the doorbell. Ding dong. One day, well, okay, well, in the meantime, before we get in the store, we are here in lovely California, uh, very hot and sunny, and we're gonna do a little video tour of this um, beautiful store here. They didn't leave, they were waiting for us. What's going on, brother? We're all good. Let's do this thing. Ah, I like the locked door, very exclusive. Yes. Exclusive yes. feeling. Mmm. You know what, actually, by appointment only right now. I like that, by appointment only. Before we get started, I just got one of these on Amazon. Is this like a wax melter? Yes, it is. Yeah, you can smell it in here. So yeah. I just got one for the store. I think it's very important, like when you walk it in, very nice. it smells yeah, nice it really in here. Smell yeah, you don't want to smell that fishiness, you know? You want it to smell inviting, like a home, like a living room. Okay, well, I'll talk better, about... Better wife approval factor. You guys, better <laughs> wife approval factor. Do you guys like the, the side tracks, the little side stories about wax candle holders and the business aspect? I'll keep talking about it. Um, I think today's video, we're going to change it up because you usually see it through my eyes, POV style. I think we're gonna let Patrick kind of dictate and he's gonna tell you. Um, even Tia, you know, we ask Tia all the time what you like, but it's not every day we're with our friend Patrick here who has a wholesale operation. How many years experience? 30? No, it's not 30 years. 25? Around like 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. He, yeah, he's 25 years old, so he started when he was five. <laughs> and uh, we'll maybe let, we'll let him sort of dictate. Hey, how's it going? Are you Ben? So, nice to meet you. Sorry, we started, we started the video already. Oh, you're good. We got too excited. How's it going, man? Yeah, right on. This is very nice. Is this a new a new place? No, we've been here almost six years at this location. Okay, and has it always been like that? Doorbell exclusive um, service? It is, yeah. We were walking yes. uh, at one point, but my Northern California location is more of an LFS walk-in. Okay, oh, there's two locations. Two locations. Yeah. Nice, so are you mostly at this one here? Uh, I am, yes. I'm mostly here. Okay, uh, cool. I do go up to the NorCal location uh, periodically. But yeah. yeah, I'm mostly here. This is a very different layout than any other store I've ever been into. Right? Yeah. yeah, very different. Like, just yeah. the cabinetry against the wall, the nice chairs, the smell, and very inviting. You almost feel like you're in someone's home. Right. It doesn't right. feel so, like such, you know, the art on the wall. Yes. Very, very clean and yeah. drywalled instead of slat wall. Yeah. Like, the, you, we're used to seeing this, like you'll have kind of your walls right. exactly. plastered. That's how ours is. Yeah. Have you yeah, seen yeah. our channel before? I have, yes. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, not so much, you don't do too much on the hardware, I guess, huh? Um, no, we no? don't do that much. Um, here we're more specific to the, um, the shipping online. Oh, and, wow. And that stuff. But our NorCal location, yeah, is more dry goods. Tia, yeah, have you looked stuff. around the corner yet? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. pretty, yeah. wow, it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, look yeah, at that. So could cool. you have made this stand any taller? So, I is that, right? is that a, uh, Can you stand next to it? Let's see for height comparison. <laughs> no, right? So, it was like the worst idea ever. Fuck, right? That is. Yeah. And this is, it looks like acrylic. It was a good idea at the time. And we just made it to the to this pony wall. We why, just made it. why so tall? You're not terribly tall either. No, you know? not at all. And oh my God, we all have to get up on, you know, ladders. Oh, to, the idea was just to cover. match that. Yeah, exactly. Ah, gotcha. It's very, it's nice at this height, like yeah. to see. But I, I can't imagine working on it. Yeah. When we originally did it, we did it oh. for uh, SPS, for like Acropora. But what yeah. we noticed, because it's so tall, most people are looking up so you into see the, the underside of the, the underside. So yeah, so it's, it's like the top side that's nice. Oh, exactly. damn. So yeah, like, like total, this. You see like the worst side exactly. of the Exactly. So we yeah. changed it. Yeah, we're trying to do it. Somebody's right, still yes. using T5s. Well, yeah. maybe. It looks like there's some LEDs running. Yeah, those are the hybrids. Yeah, just we have the T5s off for the day. Okay. Somebody likes their acans too. Look at these. Yeah, big, big into uh, rainbow acans. Yeah, same. How, okay, give our viewers uh, some insight on how to successfully keep some pipefish. Because I haven't had very good luck. So these, the pair that's in this system is actually about six years old. Yeah, when we moved to this location. Okay. Um, that's a good question. I don't know what the secret is, but they do well in this system. Looks kind of like a low flow kind of tank. It's not it is, yeah. It's lower flow now. We used to it used to be pretty rocking and rolling in there, but yeah, it's pretty pretty decent. Because we're switching it to oil. How many gallons? Uh, this system is about two ten. Two ten, and why acrylic? Um, because the glass maker that made these systems couldn't 
basically meet the deadline, so we went acrylic with these two systems. Oh, you were, okay. And this is one system, it goes through the wall, so it's about 400. So that one goes yeah. over here into yeah. this one. Yeah. Yeah. I really like yeah, the I presentation, it's um, yeah. very yeah. clean. Okay. Yeah. And you're using so the same the same fixtures here on... Uh, yeah, the ATI, the uh, hybrid uh, power modules. Power module, yeah. These are the Wi-Fi ones, those are the, the three foots. Like you, don't, school you don't see these anywhere. Nah. No, I'm Nobody still did. using Sun Powers throughout a lot of the store. We and, actually uh, have halides on this system. No way. Yeah. So for our newer viewers, maybe new to the hobby, you don't know what a halide is? Oh, yeah, sidetrack me. Sidetrack. Sidetrack. Bubble Magus. Oh, Bubble Magus, yeah. Yeah. Our preferred brand of skimmer. Great skimmer. Quiet, Absolutely. affordable, reliable. You agree, right? Yes, absolutely. Easy to clean, easy to change parts. Yes. Very, very good brand of skimmer. Fan. And if you're looking for something a little more high end, look for Nios. Um, Reef Octopus are okay too, but that's that's our preferred one. So back to Halide. We're using Halides here. Yeah. So on here's the Giesman fixture. Yeah, I don't think they're making Giesman, it anymore. Giesman, very uh, old name. With, yeah. This was expensive back in the day. It was very, yeah. very expensive. Yeah. yeah. And like, I think this is like their their last um, uh, highlight that they made. So is that it actually doesn't have any fans, but it's got that opening. Yeah. Uh, so on the every to vent all the heat out. Yeah. We're like mm -hmm. instead of actively cool. Exactly. Passive. Ninety. Yeah. What percentage of the hobby is LED? Ninety-eight percent. Oh, I'd say 99, yeah. 99. Halide yeah. is virtually dead. If I have you, some people that come into the store that never even seen highlights on the system. They don't even know what it is. Totally, yeah. What is you know, that? Yeah, yeah they're, they're totally amazed at what, and what is then going on. You got the reef brights here yeah, on the XHOs side. On XHOs, on XHOs, yeah. That's for getting color on acro and pure growing power. Halides are still, you know, if you can deal with the electricity, the heat, and the bulkiness, mm -hmm. they're still they're still awesome. Big time. You got to yeah. change the bulbs; they're expensive. Let's you talk know. about this, man. Um, I feel like you know, with the halides, you still with the halides achieve colors that you can't achieve with LED. Yeah, you know, um, yeah. They're still. There's always advantages and disadvantages to each type of lighting. Yeah. Some things that are colorful. Who made the aquariums? Are uh, these ones are crystal dynamic. Yeah. I really like how yeah. this um, Euro brace yeah, yeah, instead of just work. going on top with mm -hmm. a piece inside and like an inset Euro brace. That's beautiful, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, they did real good on those on these systems and tanks. They made this tank too. That's this. probably yeah. the biggest month for Satosa I think I've ever seen. Right. Yeah. yeah, it used huge. to be in this system, and we took it yeah. out when we just redid it. That's a you, big Satosa. You know what? Big boy. I don't have a lot of luck with that piece. Yeah. Not with growing it. Not this that. one's actually grafted too. It's just in no light. So it's like it's like a purple and red. Yeah, it has yeah. The purple and red. Yeah. yeah. I really like the stands. It's different than what you normally see. I can't stop looking at them. Yeah. Okay. We oh, got nice. The door opening for the and so these ATOs. are all connected into yeah, one. Yeah. So one these sump? two tanks are one system, and then those two tanks are one system. Yeah. It's a very inviting store. Oh, I guess yeah. you have these blacked out just to control the light. Yeah. Are those motorized? Uh, no. No. I wish they were. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's going on in this? It looks like this a very is just our picture tank where we take pictures for oh, okay. uh, you know, website with the black acrylic yeah. and black yeah. Yeah, we have something similar. Beautiful bounce. Check this out. Yeah, just textbook. Perfect. There, you're saying there's not a lot of blue and you got a blue and red scolding. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. Blue and red. See, I would have missed something like that. Right, you got you got like some blue highlights on the ridges on this one here too. I think it's very clean. So that's just for photos and then these are these are more for yeah, selling out. Yeah, more farm. Are you oh, farming? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, it looks like you have the plates set up. Very organized, very clean. Yeah, we try to stay as organized as possible. Using fish to help keep the algae down? Absolutely. Wow, what is this? That's a, um, it's actually like the only chalice that we know, of. we call it the cupping chalice. Um, it's cool. Yeah, we sent it to Jake when he did uh, uh, an unboxing for us and oh, he nice. got a piece of that, yeah. Shout out to Jake Adams, the Reef yeah, Builders, absolutely. if you don't know which Jake he's talking about, it's the one and only. Very nice. What are you using here on the ends? Those are different. Um, those are the lock line. Yeah. And then we'll, oh, the actual yeah, um, like an adductor. Um, they yeah, call they it? are yeah. inductors. Yeah, yeah, just to, to give you more flow. Like they a, work, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I put them on all systems, huh. um, and especially for these, like the eight footers, to get across the tank, so you don't have that oil slick. Yeah, yeah. it works. It works real well. We've always tried and to use them. What are you systems. using on the end for flow? Is that the reef octopus over there? Um, that one is that's, the. That's foreign to me. I don't know what pump that is. Oh, Jabao. Uh, yeah, yeah, those yeah. are Jabao's. Um, we're switching to. Um, the MPs on these systems. How do you feel about MPs, Pat? Uh, well, I love my MP40. He just right? happens to distribute Ecotech in Canada. <laughs> I, I haven't distributed because <laughs> I don't like it, though. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. We just got Pantaray. So he's a little biased. Pantaray! Oh! Sorry, I'm getting excited just because I got to meet the owner of Pantaray in yeah. Germany when I was at Interzoo. So it's kind of cool when you go and travel and then you meet the owner of a company and then you get to you know see his, his products somewhere else. Those are crazy pumps. Wow. Yeah. What are these lights? Um, these are the Kessel uh, A500s. 
um, and basically they built these to mimic halides also. Yeah. Um, you got a lot of them. Yeah, we got 12. It's kind of overkill on that. How come those over a radion or a hydra or you know one of the, something you would see in in a store like a more standard fixture? So normally, so on this system, before we redid the aquascape, which we just redid recently, you could st still see it. How do you feel the about stage. the aquascape? Yeah. You yeah, like it's it? cool. That's good. Right okay, cool. Lots, lots, of, lots of flow, you know. I've, yeah. I've, no dead spots I've never there. seen one like this. So we had Ecotex on the system, which worked well. Um, we got we had a mix LPS, SPS, but uh, we wanted to go 100% uh, Acropora, SPS. Um, and we liked the par that these lights gave. Um, we just par metered them at 100% on Two, intensity on everything. Four, you get about 1,200 par. Six, 1,200. Uh, of course, that's at the top of the yeah, tank. Yeah. Um, but like, I mean, they're cranking, you know what I mean? So. And how come bare bottom? Just because you um, want that flow? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. just so we can get the, the good flow. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy yeah. flow. Yeah, this yeah is, it's, it's pretty ripping in there. And what's this? Uh, that looks like more than eight feet. No, that's what, 10? Uh, yeah, it's a 10 foot 10. 10 by three by? By three and a half by 30. Beautiful. So how many gallons does that work out to? Um, so it's about 670, 675, give or take. It's a and nice size. Sump is about, um, Another uh, 150, almost 200. Apex controlled? You, uh, got no, control? no, no, manual. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just kind of checking out here. Thick layer. Is that like a yeah, so they triple braced. Uh, triple he had braced. made a few of these these actual uh, dimensions and tanks. Wow. And he was double bracing them, and then he just decided to triple brace them. So there's just triple brace. The have, yeah. you, have you had a tank ever explode? Is this like because I have of, not. I thought this this looks like some sort of paranoia as that yeah, were. Yeah, he was. <laughs> in the design I know he aspect. Had some with the tops of these systems. That's why he put these. This tank is uh, beautiful. In this brace. Yeah, the stainless brace. Yeah. Because um, we actually bought another store. Really, really nice. Is, Check out the sump. The tank these dimensions, and he built us this one because yeah. he wanted to make Beautiful. sure. It's really using yeah. bubble magus. Oh, yeah, using the bubble magus Doser. dosers too. Yeah. yeah, this is a very underrated doser for the price. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. I've never seen one fail. Easy to program. You don't get all the Wi Fi and crazy app features, but it's kind of nice sometimes. It's just simple off a of screen, but reliability and price is definitely uh, there. That's the bubble just, magus doser. This, uh, this aquascape. So we're still going through the. How did you phase. attach yeah. the? Uh, how did you attach the rocks? Before, um, the gentleman that did it, um, uh, he used epoxy or. Epoxy. Uh, it looks yeah. like a cement. Like a cement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did use a cement. It's very um, unique. He did real well though. I'm really happy. Yeah. He did some cool. It's designed pieces. for acro to yeah, really. This piece right here is real cool. Yeah. yeah it's going to be very large nice. Overhang. Yeah. Is this the two little fishy stacks? No. Um, these are the Marco. Marco. Marco, yeah. the, the flat ones. Yeah. yeah. They're expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah, have them in, in the store. I think we just stopped because, like, we're shipping. We're almost like twelve bucks a pound or something. Yeah, that's it's, what I hear. That. Yeah, it's that's expensive. The, with the shipping, it could be uh, pricey. This guy looks like he's got a little something on him, huh? Yeah. These Maybe? guys are not. So we've not the happy. They're not, they're not we, so happy about the change. We had right? about. You know, you want to hear about the good and bad about the hobby, right? Ah, so about, so, uh, yes. I want to say how many tangs in here, guys? I'd say about fifteen. Fifteen. We lost wow. a few. And Down to three. A lot of them were a good. Four to five years old. Oh, uh, yeah. isn't that that's yeah, it's so heartbreaking, huh? Yeah, I had a hybrid in here that I had almost six years. And how how come? What what happened there? So, yeah, they were fine. We were okay for like the first three weeks when we uh, took out the other aquascape. Right. When we put the lights on. That's the only thing I can Yeah. Maybe and too the, many changes at once. I, I think that was yeah because we had QT'd all the tanks and all these different systems. So I, I just, I've always thought that ichor, those things are present in the water, and when they get stressed, then the, that's when it, it shows. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you can ever have a truly ick-free totally. system, I, right? I agree with that. Someone agrees know. with me. Uh -huh. I don't know if you agree. Pat does a lot of fish, so he might have a different uh, input on I'm that. Not, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Yeah. Right? It's, yeah. It's, a, it's a very debated topic, and I, I like gotta respect that. I really like too. what's going on here on the yeah. bottom. That's probably the only coral that's from the previous, uh, you know, setup. I like it. Maybe that. I like the pink bricks. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't get it off, so it nice. stayed. Yeah, Ricks. yeah. Both of these, they stayed yeah. because we couldn't get them off. Beautiful. Yeah. Check out. It's got a nice, very clean no, fragment yeah. station. Oh, sidetrack. Crafted Monty's there. Crafted Monty Digitata. This thing is yeah. crazy. You're not gonna, yeah, you're yeah. not gonna see these very often. Yeah. Like He's got some of those stupid old power. DC, uh, Red Dragons. To do a or, or I guess they're the newer style. The, the skimmer? Right. Oh, the oh, pumps. That's, oh, that's the Vertex Alpha 250. Weird. Isn't that? That's that's a piece of. I haven't seen those around in a is while. It, is yeah. it a Vertex? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Vertex. Yeah. You and this is like way overkill. We could have, could have done with one Red Dragon. If you don't know what Vertex is, it's an old company. Uh, guy, the owner, was from Canada. Um, very good marketing because I always thought it was a German company. It's actually made in China. The owner was German. 
So that was very clever marketing there. That was the closest thing to Germany was the guy was originally from Germany. But they, what happened to Vertex? They're no longer on. Yeah, yeah they, they went out. They, went out they had a they beautiful were, light. They, remember the Illumina? Oh yeah. Crazy light. It was like if you wanted the top of the line, ten thousand dollar light. That was a that was a flex Everything if you had. Everything they made was pretty sleek. It yes. Looked pretty cool. Man. Yeah, it yeah, looked cool presentation. Yeah. But I it was agree. reflected in the price. This looks like your little your your fragging yeah, station where we here. Frag, where we do a lot of the. Oh, I, I like the black plugs. Dirty, yeah. but uh, you keep it organized. Yeah, like all the it's actually for a fragging station. Plugs, it's yeah, it's it's laid out. Everything looks. It, clean, yeah. it is. Yeah, that's it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it's cleaner than ours. He has called me over. Show me. What do you see? Oh, get out of here! I think that's the. Um, ben, is this the stratosphere? It is a strat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have we no have a couple of them. These, these are. Turn these, uh, this is one that's always escaped me. I tried a few times. It's not cheap. Um, not cheap for us Canadians. I, I think. What did they go for down here? Um, out here, there was an influx of them that uh, were uh, coming in that, that uh, had been cultured. Um, so they dropped. They were about eighteen hundred a pollen. Wow. And they dropped all the way down to twelve hundred, but they're floating back up. Wow. wow. Yeah. I, I don't know that dropped is the right word. That <laughs> right? twelve hundred a pollen. No matter how you put that, that's yeah, expensive. No matter how you yeah. put that, it's still pretty expensive. If you guys are new to the, pollen. if you're new to the channel and you don't understand, maybe I, I didn't introduce this properly. We're all from Canada. And then we go and hit the road and, and come down to the States and follow um, the Reef Palooza and Aquashella shows and bring the camera. And then when, when nice store owners like Ben have the time, we come and visit and, and tour what they got going on. Look at that hammer. What is that? Yeah, yeah that's a nice, beautiful piece. hammer that that's a uh, really came in from Ozzy. Um, it was actually larger than that. It's about, we cut it in half. Um, you don't see big cameras like that anymore. Not, not you know? with that color. Yeah. I can't imagine. So this And I was... started to cut it up and I said that's too pretty to keep cutting up, so I just left it. Sometimes you just leave it. Yeah. Totally. And what are your uh, BTAs that are here? Um, so these guys are, uh, the ones in these boxes are uh, ones that we imported. So they're okay. Indo. And then um, we have ones in the front that are actual um, the uh, Chicago. Ch Sorry. Proper yeah. Chicago. So yeah. yeah, yeah. I noticed they're very these yellow. Nice, yeah. These ones, even these? like, uh, it's, it's, they look like they're Chicago. Uh, yes. So very similar to There's Chicago. So, so what's the difference between this one in the front. So many. I think, okay. What is the secret to success with these? You seem to be doing very well with the Ghanis, the Ghanis Albies. Yeah, they look. You know, nowadays it seems like uh, people are dipping them like in a Cipro um, what to get them. Uh, What's to, a Cipro? It's, it's an antibiotic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So people are using Probably more illegal dips. for us. <laughs> it is illegal for us for in Canada. Us, yeah. Do you yeah. feed them? Do you spot feed them? Um, we do spot feed them. Yeah. High flow. High flow. High oh, flow. Okay. Yeah. So you see, it's like there's no consensus on these. Like I even go back and forth. I think. Tia changed my mind. I thought high flow, then I'll do low flow. They look better. It's, but I, I think we forget sometimes that of Ghanipora, there's 20 different subspecies. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe for some high flow is the trick and low yeah. flow, and you kind of just have to see what works for you. Find that yeah. spot in your tank. Your stuff looks really good. Colors really, Thank you. really, really nice. You guys are going to be yeah. at Reef yeah. Palooza. We will. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me come yeah, around to that really side. Nice. When the store owner gets excited, I get excited. Let's see what stands out. What else stands out besides these? These like, guys are, are real nice. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else is super nice in here? Yeah, these are the, uh, I like the A-cans. I'm an A-can guy, so. Yeah, these guys are nice. Uh, these are our uh, Jolly Rancher uh, eight cans, so those are nice. The blast yeah. ones look good. Blast ones are blast good too. Blast ones yeah. have become so popular in yeah. the trade. I think really gone up, since yeah. Indo reopened, yeah. they really started pumping out some. I don't remember this stuff like since back in the day. Yeah, Blast those. Popular. yeah. How long? How long have you been uh, sort of in the industry hobby, this kind of thing? Um, so in the hobby, going wow, 22, 23 years. Long time. Um, yeah. Um, but doing this professionally going yeah. on uh, about 11 years. It, sh years. it shows, man. You know, yeah. you know what you're doing, clearly. I, to... I really, really like the presentation. Thank like, you. I like yeah. the walls are empty. Like, our store is very cluttered because it, it has to be because we don't have any space. This mm -hmm. has a very boutique-y, you know, very nice, yeah. relaxed energy feel, high-end yeah. stuff. That was the whole goal behind it, yeah. Oh, this is very important. I think every store should have this. No children allowed. I'm just kidding. Children are great. Um, <laughs> we used to use MP40s in the tank but we had to take them off because huh? the kids love to toss them on oh, the floor man. 
and it's kind of a one shot. It's like yes. dropping glass. Once yes. those things hit the floor, they're they gone. Break. Yeah, mm -hmm. mommy, mommy, and we then. Just had an take, take a dive over here on this tank. Yeah, on the bottom. We're using on the bottom. Not cheap. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not fun. What are you using up there for? I'm sorry, guys. I'm jumping around between asking him how he started the business and the corals and the show. Um, those uh, sweepers up there for flow. What are sea swirls. Sea swirls. Uh, swirl. Yeah. So that's how you know this guy's okay. been in the hobby a long time. He's yeah. using some stuff that you're not gonna find this on BRS. Sea are they still Are they still turning? And they're still working. How yeah, often you lose them? Two of them, them still work. Two of them two. still work. Two of them work. This is. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Uh, I'm trying to replace the other two though. He's got. Yeah, the, you can still rebuild them. I yeah. think. I think the, the kids. So what right? they are, if you don't know what I'm talking about and why we're laughing, it's a very old school way. Before we had vortex and wave makers and powerheads, you hook this up to a strong return pump, and with a motor, it'll like go back and forth and direct the, the flow. Rotating return device. So between, yes. if I didn't know the guy, we didn't talk. Between that. The halide's still running, and the Vertex skimmer, I would guess he's got some... He's been around a while. He's got about yeah, 20 been years been experience yeah. under his... He knows what he's doing. It's cool to see kind of, you know, the, that stuff. Even that, the, the sun yeah. powers, the mo sun modules, um, very nostalgic for me. These are things that, you know, we started when, uh, when, when I first got in the hobby, were very popular, mm -hmm. and now are more or less dead. Yeah, they're just, they're just gone. gone. And not because they're bad or they don't work. Obviously, they're still working. It's just yeah. things change over time. A different way, and there's no rule book, right? To keeping these things, this is what Everybody works for Ben. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he can accomplish the same thing that Pat might do in a different way, that Tia might yeah. do in a different way. So keep that in mind if you're if you're looking to set up a tank. There's really, you know, mimic someone. You know, you see something in the video that's smart. Let me try it. But there's well, really no right or wrong. You what, are you, what is your fire in there? Uh, right there, when the halides are on, we get about I want to say like 420. Wow. 420, 420 yeah. is a what great about number. On the LPS. Uh, on the LPS, we get about at peak about 200, 220. Yeah, so, you, yeah. so you find that you get better results with your power around 200? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, on the LPS so, for sure. Um, how, how, when, that, when, that, when the hot lights are off, what's the power with just the... We're at about 100, probably 100 like 90. Yeah. And I feel like um, if we were just, like if we just had LPS in there at all times, we'd just use the reprites and we right. get the best color. That's, that's all you, that's that all you need. Yeah. What are you using for salt? Uh, Red Sea. Red Sea. Red sea yeah. uh, the blue bucket. The blue yeah. Bucket. yeah. Blue bucket. Yeah, it's very popular. Yeah. Uh, do you deal at all with Route 66? Uh -huh, yeah. So we were, we just came from there, and he explained that he's using natural seawater. Interesting. My, yeah, my mind was like, Plum? yeah, yeah. I didn't know that it was even possible yeah. or even yeah. a thing. Yeah. Uh, your glass is also um, you'd, like, did you, I don't know if you clean because we were coming or no. We always we always try to keep it, it very would, very clean. My guys, I can believe that. To that. I'm a big stickler on uh, uh, having clean glass, yeah. clean acrylic. There's um, no salt creep. No there's water no on the floor, algae. There's no. Kind of a, yeah, you don't see tools and mops. Yeah. It's like it's very inviting. It's very We're clean. To keep it pretty clean. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of times the store is a reflection of the owner. When you walk in and it's in disarray, it's kind of. I don't know. I think this this hobby really um, appreciates or rewards people that are kind of OCD, and you can kind of see it come through. Yeah. Organization. Kitia always says cleanliness is what. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Cleanliness is next <laughs> nice. to godliness. I'm gonna get a big sign like That's that for cool. our staff and stick it on <laughs> yeah. the wall. Yeah, I like you, that. You, cleanliness uh, is next to godliness. Mushrooms very much. So we do. But I will say, oh, you got big cojones. You frag that thing. When they get like, um, let's say, anything larger than like with the scoli, yeah. we won't. I won't cut them. Only okay. if they're small. So you I've just had ones. bad luck with cutting large. Look uh, at this. You know, yeah, weeping willow. That's. So Did you find nice. it's better to let them just like let the little babies butt off and chip, yeah. the, chip the babies away? You know, um, yeah. if we had more patience, yeah, absolutely. Uh. But we do cut. We we get uh, you know. Talk, talk to me about this. AP 700. 700, yeah. yeah. Good light, too. Good light. Yeah. You like the Kessel? Kessel I do. Support. Yeah, Kessel. Uh, uh, we're big fans of Kessel. Uh, our NorCal shop is pretty much powered by uh, Kessel. Pretty that's, much a, all, that's pretty good spread on there. Yeah. It's not as popular. I think it's an underrated light. I've never actually used one. Yeah. The only time I really see them is like Reef of Palooza at the shows in other yeah. shops. Yeah. But the spread, the color looks really good. Yeah, they do real well for uh, shows and for our pictures, yeah. I didn't really take a look. What are you running Those here? Radions. Yeah, Radeon. Yeah, we got yeah. a little bit of everything. Yeah, more or less the industry standard, but it's nice to see a mix. I don't yeah. think I've ever been into a store where you walk in, you see two types of T5, yeah, those Kessels, um, Radeon, Reef Brights, Halides, everything. Nice, a nice yeah. mix. The only thing I guess you're missing is running some aqua illuminations on yeah, the hydras. Right? Yeah. <laughs> if we had more systems, maybe we can, you know. 
Yeah. You got a little bit of space yeah, right here. Yeah, right, right here. Yeah. No, right. Any future, any like as a store owner, you always got something on the go, something that you want to change, or what, what's next uh, for you? What's going on? So for us here, we want to do more aquaculturing. Yeah. yeah. Do you have do you have more space in the back? We don't, but we're trying to get more space. Yeah. Um, so we can uh, aquaculture more, you know, farm more. Yeah. So um, sustainability. Our location in Northern California is only about a year and a half old, so that's pretty new for us. Mm -hmm. um, and we're expanding there too. So plans for more stores other than this? Uh, you know, if I if we had uh, a bigger team, yeah. But uh, right now with the two stores, it's all we can handle. So you don't have uh, you guys don't you don't have a cloning machine? You can't no. replicate. Uh, yeah. How about pop we, out a couple we'd have, kids? We have ten yeah. stores, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what I'm working on. I'm not. I don't care about frag. I'm just working. How do I clone me? That's the key, right? That's, yeah. that's it. You do that, and you got to figure Th it out. This is man. as close as I got in a female version. <laughs> female <laughs> mini me, way cuter. Yeah. Well, definitely. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. The, for our shipping bags, we'll heat seal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love We've that tried thing. every oh, type of shipping and containers. We'll yeah. do our torches in containers, but um, majority, like we found the best is the heat seal. Yeah. Um, you don't find they pop? There's not too much pressure? No, we'll just use the bigger mill bag, a much oh, thicker bag. Look what yeah. I found. Look yeah. at this, Pat. You might be happy to see this. Yeah, yeah that's, our that's a great food. Patrick like also it. distributes uh, this food here uh, in Canada, Benary Free yeah, Food. It's new for thicker. us, but it seems like pretty good stuff. I got to spend a little more time with it. This is the old tried and tested true. Also Canadian company. What up? Refrit. Shout out to our friend Phil over there. Between Canada and the States. Okay. What? Torches? Let's see. Okay. Yeah. I can start with names right? too. Yeah. Names I can't keep up with these. So what do you got for torches over here? So these guys. Um, Banana ball buster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's banana. Um, that guy's actually from the Philippines. Um, these two are Malaysian. And that guy's Indo. Uh, this is your more, you know, traditional Holy Grail type in the States. That looks um, like almost a little bit closer to an Australian. Yes, culture. with the with the way the tentacles. It's the white on the end, yeah. it's got a little plump, right? Yeah, yeah. so color-wise, kind of like Holy Grail, but as far as structure, you know, different, much different than your traditional longer tentacle Holy Grail. Do you have any uh, tips or secrets to keeping Tor Chappy long-term in a tank? Uh, long-term in a tank that we... That, let's see. Like For me, I always find the most important is the flow. Yes, Nail flow. The flow. Not too much, yes. not too little. Yeah, that sweet spot. Yeah, that yeah. sweet spot. Keep them happy. If it doesn't work in one spot of the tank, try something else, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. What do you see? But Tia's tapping me on my shoulder here. We like, feed our torches uh, oyster feast. You know, that's what uh, uh, we feed. Oh, these guys? Oh, you're, you're oh yeah. What were you guys calling them? Um, so that, um, it would be like a banana, you know? Okay, there's, really? there's a few... Universally in the States, I would say a banana torch. Banana yeah. torch. Yeah, that would be what those are. And this one's got a name? Um, that one, it would just be close to like a holy grail, you know, per se, but close. doesn't, because it's, uh, the structure's different, but color-wise the same. No name on that guy. Close. And these guys are pretty new. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. How big was your first tank when you started? Oh, my first tank was a 40 gallon olive oil. That was considered a nano reef back in the yeah. day. Yeah, it's 40. Yeah. 40 Pe gallon people look at you funny with a 40. Fish only. Yeah. yeah. And how come? Why? Why a fish tank? Why salt water? What you did fresh water before? Or? I just uh, had fresh water as a younger uh, younger kid. Did you have fresh? And, uh, I just went to a local store and uh, got into salt water. That's it. And just took over. You know how it is. It's it's an addiction. It's history, it's a blessing and a curse at the yeah. same time. And then exactly. it turns. Yeah. People ask me all the time. Yeah, like what happened, man? How, how, how do you? Do yeah, from in? forty gallon little tank to you know an operation like this. Even you, like how did? Uh, what? My first was a thirty three gallon tank that Trina and I got in university and it was a total piece of garbage but it was the only thing we could afford and then we bought it on a student budget and then we basically have used it in presentations on like how not to keep a tank because it was like <laughs> green hair algae yeah. and anti tank like every yeah. mistake you can possibly make on the thing and it started with like T12s and right. you know we all water and mm -hmm. And ample supplies it's of very rare that you're gonna meet a store owner that didn't start as a hobbyist like that. That's that's how we all start. Ben, is this a? Uh, this thing just out. topping off with salt water. Is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Didn't know well, about Sony? No, uh, not a bar. I forget that species name. Um, not a bar banky. Ivan, what's the species? Something how, how, with an H. How? How? Halua. Halua. Yeah, like um. It's a Hawaiian name. It's pretty rare. It's cool. Aussie, from Aussie, yeah. From what I understand, pretty rare. So I always kept it. I never sold it. Yeah, it stumped me. I, yeah. The, uh, the way you keep the bottom of there's no, not even coralline. Like, 
Yeah, Some stores trying. battle with uh, hair algae or Thanks cyano. These guys right here, that's why they're laughing. We got yeah. Coraline Destroyer 1, when, when you 2, say, when and you 3. Say, I was kept by him. You yeah, right. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was kept by, by you guys. Look at these. Yeah. Just I supervise well. Fantastic. Yeah. That's good that. Delegator. Yeah. Delegator yeah. Yeah. Very good very good delegator. Check out these A cans. You can tell he knows what he's doing. He likes the A cans. And again, lit with the Kessel. The APs, kind of an unusual light, but it's doing the job. Stuff looks good, super clean. Oh, yeah, what did you find there? Max Mini? Max Mini. The Max Mini or Rockflower? Max, Max, Max Mini. Mini, yeah. Kind of uncommon for us. Are they common down here? Um, Yeah, pretty common, yeah. Yeah, they can be. Yeah, I don't see them too often. Yeah, we're uh, pretty easy. I like how you have it spaced out. It gives it a very exclusive, expensive look instead of ramming it full, kind of. And how do you know what stuff costs? You just um, check out the guy's watch. Oh, that's a nice. Yeah, we just. I mean, all these guys a, know. They gotta know what. Uh, yeah, we, we got a new. We got an AMG with a date just. <laughs> yeah, got, yeah, Jim's here. Everything goes up twenty percent. Clearly. You guys can start packing up. I'm sure you're itching to pack up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, check out these. We took our we took our time to get here today. The traffic in LA is something else. We're gonna do another video just on the traffic problems here, but they've been waiting for us, these guys, so that they could go to uh, Reef Palooza, so we'd come and shoot the video. Um, sorry about that. We're here though. Told, told you we're coming. Oh, I like I like this. Mars, you gotta look at this A can here. This is out of this world. It's like half green, half orange. Oh yeah. Half just incredible. Half that one's incredible. nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is one of my favorite. Like grafted it, yeah. yeah, it is grafted. Yeah. yeah. Do you keep a tank at home? Uh, I do not. Do I not. used to, and uh, I've been thinking about putting one up for my kids. Yes. Just so they can have one at home. Um, but they're into the jellyfish. They want jellyfish. Oh. Yeah. 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 I like this angle, the way you have it presented. It's yeah. different. Yeah. 45, yeah. John at Advanced Acrylics uh, makes those racks for us. Very sweet. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up today's episode. This was a lot of fun. We're going to be off to Rifa Palooza tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. If you catch this video before then, we're going to be at Ecotech at their booth for the first hour. Ben, thank you very much for My the pleasure. tour. Yeah, really appreciate, appreciate it. Sorry to make by. you guys wait. No, thank you, Tia, all. for coming to California. So people don't say, where's Tia? <laughs> thank you, Patrick, for coming along too. If you guys like the content, you like the channel, give us one of these. Subscribe. We try to do a video here um, every couple of days, as often as you can. Oh, I missed this sign arena. Hello. Damn, Actually, beautiful. Indo, oh, yeah. so another one I got stumped on. Quite rare. That is pretty cool. If you guys are looking to get in touch with Ben, you got a website, right? Yeah, Cali Kid Coral. Cali Kid Coral. Coral. This is Ben. This has been Fragbox TV. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye. -bye. Yeah, you know, yeah, Outtakes. Yeah, I really like this thing. And if you need a pump, they got one L2 for <laughs> One pump. Maybe there were more here, but one. One replacement pump. It's a big one. That's all you need.